The note repeat feature within Studio One has been overhauled, so it's time to take a look at the new features for that. And we can access the note repeat by using Alt, Shift, and R. And we can access here in the right. We can also click on the button here within the transport bar. And this is gonna be pretty straightforward to use. All we need to do at this point is just click the active. And uh, we have the rate, which is eighth notes currently. So now I have an impact loaded on this instrument track. So whenever I trigger a pad, it's now going to repeat at that rate. And if I enter into record, Okay, that looks like one long note, but if we double click, we can see we do have our eighth notes that have been added. Now I'm gonna close out the edit window and get rid of that MIDI part. So with the rate, we saw that we just recorded the eighth notes and we can adjust that by sliding this left or right and we can choose different values. So if we would like to uh, record 16th notes, we could just change that there. And we have our 16th notes. We can also click on the display here itself and we have a pop-up window and we can choose a value from here. Okay, and while we're in here, notice that we have a QT down at the bottom. And when we choose this, the note repeat feature is going to make use of whatever we have set for our quantized value. So right now we have 30 seconds, which, and let's change that to eighth. Quarter. Okay, so that is the QT. Next, we have a single mode button, and when this is activated, it will give us different repeat rates spread across our MIDI controller for the last note that was played. And we can see the last note that was played by the display up above. We see F sharp one. So anytime I press a note, that is going to then change to show what that note is. And that's the one that will be affected by the single mode. So let's just work with this hat. I'll go ahead and enter into single mode. And then now I can press keys across my keyboard and the di different, different resolutions are already assigned. Now we can get a better idea of this by clicking on the wrench and bring up the note repeat display here. And we can see what those values actually are, what the resolutions for the repeat are and where they're located. So those begin on C1 and I'm using a 25 key controller. So if I, let me change the octave on here and you can see where I'm triggering. Eighth notes, 16th, 30 seconds. There's our QT and so on. So I think you get the idea here. This is when you have one sound or one pitch that you want to work with and have the option to use different resolutions for their note repeat while you're recording your track. We do have some settings for the single mode and first we have bass and this is going to determine where these resolutions are set on your MIDI controller. So by default this is going to be set to C1 and we can see C1 we have our half note, which begins there, but we can just click, hold and drag. Say if we'd like to move this down on our MIDI controller, we can move that down, say to C minus one. And then we can see that our resolutions begin on C minus one. So this will just give us, gives us a little bit of flexibility in where we'd like to place these resolutions when working in single mode. Now below the base, we have pitch and F sharp one. We saw that here, this is the last note that was played, but if we'd like to work with a different pitch or a different sample or sound, we can always click and drag left or right on the pitch to choose a different sound. Now below that we have quantize and aftertouch. Now when we have quantize activated, when we're recording these, the note repeat, it will automatically quantize the repeats and set those in line with your grid. If you have that activated and then we have after touch. Now, if you have a MIDI controller that supports after touch, after you've triggered the sample and the notes are repeating, you can press and use the after touch to adjust the velocity of all of the repeated notes. And then moving on, we have key remote and I'm actually going to disable the single mode 
and we'll click on key remote. And this way we can use keys on our MIDI controller to activate the different functions or parameters of our note repeat. So we can see our black keys can activate uh, the note repeat feature itself. So if I go ahead and press that key, actually I my keyboard is set differently. So I activated the single mode, but you can see how that works there. I'm going to move an octave down on my controller. Let's try that again. So we can see I'm using um, C sharp one to activate and deactivate the note repeat feature. We have note erase and you do need to hold that down in order to activate it. And note erase is going to disable the note repeat feature because they cannot work at the same time. We then can ha set our gate here. The gate's basically going to control the length of our repeated note or pitch. Then we have, we can activate the single mode. We can activate or deactivate quantize, and then we can activate or deactivate the aftertouch feature that we just talked about. And then now below that, we can choose the resolution. Whether we want half, you can see that the rate is changing up above, quarter, eighth, and so on. Now, as we had with the single mode, we do have a base for the key remote, and that's basically going to set which keys have these controls on them. So it, you may want to have these a little bit lower, let's say C minus one on your MIDI controller. So then in this way, if I can get to the right octave on my controller, I can then activate the note repeat. And I'm using the pads on my controller and then as I'm using the pads, I can press the keys to change the different resolutions. And the range basically is going to allow you to limit the amount of controls that are going to show up here. So by default, it's going to be on 24 or two octaves. But if we click, hold and drag to the left, then we can see we can limit what keys are going to be used for these controls. So it may just be that we only want to have the ability to activate or deactivate the note repeat feature. And we can set that there by putting it to one, but I'll go ahead and pull that back up to 24. And then finally we have our note erase feature and I'm actually just going to go ahead and close this display out and let's, I'm going to set the song cursor here and activate our loop. And this is going to be useful for if you are recording drums, say in a loop or any instrument at all. I'm going to go ahead and enter into record and record record a very basic beat. And I actually want to delete that out. I didn't mean to do that. So uh, I'm going to activate the note repeat by clicking here and just hold down that key and then we can take it out. I'll deactivate the note erase. Okay, so we can then just activate the note erase and any uh, notes that we'd like to remove, we can just press and hold that down and it's gonna take that out. But the trick is you need to still be in record mode when you're doing this because if you were to stop and then play it back and then try to erase them without being in record, you're not gonna be able to do that. So you do need to make use of this function while you're actually recording. Okay, and so this has been a look at the updated note repeat feature within Studio One Four.